This is the PC Tran APR1400. PC Tran is a nuclear power plant simulator, and the APR1400 is the Korea designed uh, nuclear power plant of uh, 1400 megawatt electric. The core power is about uh, 4000 megawatt thermal. Uh, just like any PWR, the core has many uh, vertical fuel assemblies. The control rods uh, at full power are mostly out. 98%. We use a uh, point connect is to account for its uh, reactivity. Hot water going out of the core in two hot legs to two separate steam generator and pump the back into the reactor lower planet uh, in four separate loops. So this two by four design. Uh, was originally a uh, combustion engineer system 80 uh, Korea hydro and nuclear power company take it, took it over uh, and made considerable uh, improvement and called it uh, uh, KSMP Korea standard nuclear plant and later a smaller version is OPR Optimum pressurized water reactor 1000 and this APR 1400 and uh, since Fukushima there also uh, considerable uh, retrofit for the station blackout which enhanced the uh, water and power supply and uh, device to cool the uh, reactor vessel bottom to prevent meltdown and also mitigation uh, of the uh, Accident by uh, adding uh, hydrogen recombiner and burners. So you see them. Uh, now we can click the runner, the operation start. You can control the uh, pressure and the pressurizer level by the charging and letdown system. I just want to demonstrate to you the uh, powers originally. 15.5 megapascal, that's about 2200 uh, psi. Suppose we want to reduce it to 15, you see the spray will turn on. And if you want to increase it to 15.6, click OK, you see the spray immediately stop and the heater turns on, turns up itself to to meet your new target uh, pressure. Likewise, you can control the level. Uh, suppose you want to reduce the level from originally 48% to 45%. Click OK. And you see the charging flow will go down. Originally it was uh, close to uh, to uh, the letdown. So now you see the uh, letdown is greater than at the uh, charging, so the level go down. And that's uh, you can also control the boron. You know, if we're adding boron, the power will go down slowly, and if you reduce the boron, you'll go up. That's uh, the normal control. But the turbine. You can also control the power demand, and that will synchronize uh, everything: the pressure, water level, feed water, and the turbine control, and the rod, everything to meet the new power demand. So suppose we do that to ninety percent. A full power. Uh, the rods will go in slowly. Look closely. I can speed it up the simulation, so you can see that uh, 
I change to four times faster. The rods go in and the power go down. I show you by the variables, transient plots. They are alphabetical order. Let me click the power, core thermal power, neutron flux, and turbine load. Put the range from 0 to 120 percent and uh, span of time for 800 seconds. You see, the power go down uh, when we maneuver the, uh, the either the uh, the rods or the uh, turbine control. This is just normal operation, and uh, suppose we have an accident. I click the more function. There are all kinds of accidents. Lots of coolant, steam line break, lots of feed water, uh, steam generator, tube rupture, turbine trip, anticipate transient without scran, uh, all combination. So suppose we click the uh, uh, a large break of 500 centimeters square in the coal lag. Click OK and close the window and run it. You see this large pipe break. Immediately pressure go down and the uh, reactor shut down by the low pressure reactor protection system. And then let me slow down the simulation to one. In the meantime, the uh, high pressure injection safety injection pumps, the four pump, two trans of them start and pump the water from the refueling water storage tank into the collect. And also the containment spray, two pumps, draw water from the same tank, goes through the heat exchanger and the spray to the uh, containment. So this reduce the uh, containment pressure and also make up the coolant loss. We can see the containment condition. The spray, the coolant loss going back into the refueling water storage tank. And the spray will suppress the pressure. All the radioactivity of the, the fuel in the reactor the building in the coolant and the uh, auxiliary building, the radiation monitor and uh, radioactivity isotope concentration are tracked in all major compartments and uh, even the offsite, the site boundary or the low population zone. So this is an integrated uh, simulation uh, tool that has a, a analytical basis, so it's not just animation. Everything is uh, very uh, seriously calculated and presented into the uh, into by the uh, instructor and the uh, students interactively. And we can we have even in previous installed. Uh, several cases. See, this is a station station blackout that you lose all the uh, uh, AC and uh, DC power. What will happen in a couple of hours? And of course, that's a very severe case. You see, the core is already melt. And uh, APR fourteen hundred have a unique design that. Uh, to cool the bottom of the uh, vessel uh, by opening this valve, draw water to spray to the bottom to prevent it melts through. Should it uh, not working, we can even see that uh, vessel failed, number 16. That's previously 
uh, start case. You see, it melts through. But uh, by opening this uh, water to cool it, it's, let me accelerate it to faster, fast time. See this column called okay. So this debris now cooled from twenty two hundred centigrade to two thousand centigrade and further cool down. In the meantime, you can turn on the hydrogen recombiner. There are two types of recombiner: analytic, uh, I mean, autocatalytic recombiner, and uh, also the uh, uh, burner. The number of them. Of course, the more device you activate, the faster the hydrogen. Uh, concentration reduction. So this gives you an idea that uh, how uh, APR 1400 design concept and uh, uh, accident mitigation strategy, strategy. Hope you can get an idea. Thank you for attention. Bye.